Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel, and I told you, I promised I am going to try to keep to a schedule. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m., let me know what videos you guys want to see. Um, so, I believe you guys probably saw Monday's video already, if you had an interest in it. Uh, that was the Nitto Legends um, ripping of the assets again, because people were asking for an updated tutorial, and realistically nothing changed. So I guess I'm just that YouTuber now who reuses his old ideas to get more views. Got it. So anyway, um, recently I found the offline server file uh, that many people had been um, asking people, or many people had been asking for since uh, I, um, I am not offline, you jerk. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, um, I just busted people's eardrums. Anyway, uh, I was doing something at the same time I was talking. So many people have been wondering, how do you set up this server? Um, and it's actually very simple. So two things you're going to need, and uh, they are both on my Discord in the supported leaks section, which you can get to my Discord with a link in the description down below. As you can see, there are a couple download links with a link for instructions, but I'm just showing you how to do it right now. But I'm going to open this secretly in my other window so I follow the instructions right. Um, also, for those of you who are fans of the Radeon Project Combat Arms Reborn, there is a uh, update coming for that. And he just asked me for permission to type a post on the Lith Archive website. Uh, which will also get me back into that because I have been definitely neglecting it and I apologize. Um, so look out for that. But here is how to set up the Drift City offline server. So you need the two downloads. Uh, you need the game client and the offline server files. So first of all, you're going to want to just extract these files once you download them. And I'm going to pause this while it extracts because it's going to take a fat minute because I'm doing this to an external hard drive like an idiot. And there we go, it is extracted. So now we also want to extract the offline server files, and I will put that into a separate folder for now. But what you actually want to do is open up this folder, and everything in here, you just want to copy and paste. And we'll to keep it easy for right now. We'll uh, just keep everything in uh, here to go over it. But first of all, it will check and see if Drift City is running as well as the Rice emulator. If neither are running, it will, um, or if they're running, if they're found running, this will shut them down. CD tells it the uh, batch file, the command prompt, to look in the Rice folder, which there is a Rice folder. It will start the Rice exe, and then it will also start the Drift City force window. And um, that's pretty much all you need to get this started. This is a modified EXE of Drift Cities that knows to point at the local server. My cat loves me. And these are just the files for running the Drift City server. So if you want, you can try to go in here and modify them. There's really no point um, in doing that. Like this file is completely nothing. I don't even know what this is. Uh, and you can just kind of look around, mess around, but there's not much to do. And if you want to do anything, you would have to honestly probably modify this with the NSPY, which I haven't tried. Let's... Give me one second. Haha, <laughs> you can! So, yes, or no, this project was not open source. Uh, or... The offline emulator, I believe, was open source at one point, but then it was taken off of GitHub. So as you can see, this kind of makes it open source. Um, if you want to go in and like modify this stuff, and you can see the hard-coded uh, info right here. Um, you know, if you want to make yourself an admin in whatever way and actually set it up so you can do things that admins can do in it or whatever. I don't actually know where login info is in here. Oh, here it is. So admin and admin are the password, username and password for this. If uh, you want to go in and actually like change any of this, you can. There's not really a reason to, though. 
um, except if you want to actually change stuff with like the cars or the area, um, characters. I don't think you can really do anything with these. I don't think there's much you can do because there is a database for the cars rather than just having it all in here, which would be really annoying. But uh, so we'll close that because, yeah, there's a database right here and I'm actually not sure how to open up one of these files. I'll look into that later and maybe make a, an update video on editing the SDF file. But you want to copy these into your folder right here. And yes, you do want to overwrite the Drift City EXE. And you want to run the game with the start.bat that's down here. So, you know, start.bat. Uh, this doesn't matter. You can hit cancel. And Drift City is going to run. You can click cancel. Race server has started. It is now loading. And this is loading locally so you can play the game on your machine yourself. Uh, no strings attached. And it might take a second to launch, apparently. There it goes. Oh, my sound is on. I'm sorry. So, like I said, admin, admin. That gets you into the game, as you can see. Admin and admin. And then you just click this button to get into the server. You can edit the game. You are a Rice admin. You click that. Yes, there's like unknown packets and stuff, but you can now go in and do pretty much whatever you want. Um, if you want to, you know, run one of these races, you can. Or I don't. I never actually played this game. I'll straight admit it. So there goes that helicopter again. So I don't actually know what I'm really doing in this. That helicopter is flying really low, like right over the street. I can see it out my dining room window. That helicopter is low. Anyway, I, I, I get it. Let me drive. Where is that helicopter? Where is this thing? What is it doing? Monday's video I was talking about this helicopter because I'm recording this five minutes after. But that's all it takes to get this game working in uh, as the um, offline rice emulator. So, you know, have at it. Have fun. It sometimes will spawn you in weird places like this that it's not supposed to spawn you. I don't realistically know how you get out of here. Oh, okay. But as you can see, we are now, I don't know how to drift. I don't remember. Yeah, I do not remember how to play this. There is a way to drift. Oh, shift. Jesus. Okay, I'm really bad at this actually. If I can figure out how to run a Need for Speed World server, would you guys be interested? Ooh, okay, I got that one. That was pretty good. Okay, I kind of do like the handling here. This is kind of insane. Anyway, maybe I'll do a video series on this offline server and see what I get. Oh, uh, that's an off that's an unknown packet too. So there's gonna be a lot that doesn't exist in this as far as um stuff that doesn't work. This is really only good for like driving around. I don't know if this game has mod ability. If it does, this will be a good way to test mods um without having to be on the actual game. So realistically, it's kind of that easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh I know it was short and sweet, but I'm still new to the being creative thing. <laughs> Peace out, guys.